Hey guys, this is Bad Al with another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Uh, this time going over playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods on the Zemu Xbox emulator. I will leave the relevant links to the, uh, to the information covered in the description of the video. And I'll be going over not all of the setup, but what you need to know for Battlefront 2. All right, let's start off with um, this wiki page that I have on the Game Toast uh, wiki for Zemu setup. It specifies that you will um, you will also need this tool right here, Extract X ISO. This is used to create the ISO that Zemu needs to load. Um, it has a link to the Zemu website. Uh, that we that we were just at. Here is the basic setup video that I recommend. And if you want to set up networking, here's this. It's not necessary, but um, it it can be cool if you want to like transfer other files over to your Zemu emulator. I also have a video um, on that you might want to look for a Zemu setup for widescreen that I'll go over a little bit later as well. Okay, so. Um, Let's start by going to the Clone Wars Revised page, and then here in the vid or not the vid in the files section, download this Star Wars um, Clone Wars Revised Xbox Beta, and use this link to download it. I have already downloaded it, and. I will show you where it is on my desktop. Okay. Okay, it's right here on the desktop. I will. I, I also have this extract ISO program that we'll need. We'll just extract this here. Won't take too long. Okay, so if we go into this folder, there's a README. This, uh, it, this will tell you how to um, set up the rest of the way. You're not actually supposed to release the executable code that comes with the game, so uh, this doesn't include it. So you will need to have an, a copy of Battlefront 2 uh, for Xbox. And you'll need to get the default .xbe, copy that, and then paste it into this one. Um, the instructions for whatever Xbox mod you're working on or, or you're trying to play, it should come with it. I know in um, TNCOM's Xbox mods, he actually... Uh, distributes um, he distributes a lot of the files but he is assuming that for his mods that they be pasted over a Battlefront 2 game um, in this case it's different so um, we're gonna all we really have to do is paste this default XBE here now if we take a look at the web page um, for the setup we're going to be using extract ISO. The link is right here. Um, but if we're going to create it, we just basically use it. Uh, we call the program dash C for create and give it the folder name. Let's take a look at the, I have a batch file right here that basically just puts that in there. And that's all it looks like. So if we, if, if we want to uh, use this from the command line we can uh, since i already have a batch file i'm just gonna run that and then that will uh, created the iso okay okay let's open up zemu and browse to the uh, browse to that iso okay drag in zemu here uh, load the disk Oops, it's on the other desktop. 
let's see here. Let me drag that over here. It's in this folder, okay. Let's open it up. Then we'll do a reset. Okay. Let's make this big. Uh, hit F11. Or actually, maybe view full screen. Okay. All right, here we go. And here's some nice intro, or here's some nice shell videos for the uh, Clone Wars Revised Xbox mod. And let's go to the instant action page. Now, if you've never set up, um, if you've not set up your widescreen options, you'll get something like this on this particular mod. And that looks pretty terrible. It still works, but this, um, this instant action level select screen was intended to be used under widescreen. I didn't test it under um, the regular 4-3 aspect ratio so it's not great but we can fix that and i have a, i have another video that goes over fixing that but i'll just go over it again here load disk we're going to load the um the dash which is referenced on the oops games dash the hex in 2018 is referenced on that um, on that GitHub wiki page as well. So, okay. Um, if you don't have if you don't have XBMC installed already, we'll go to the install and install applications, and we'll do install XBMC to F. I already have it installed. So down here, we're going to go to Xbox Admin, go to Applications and do XBMC, that'll boot up XBMC. And this is what I use to um, do these video settings on my regular Xboxes. Go to settings, system, video output, and we'll do widescreen, and then we'll also enable 480 and 720, might as well. Actually, you'd want to enable 480 for Battlefront 2. All right, we'll reboot that. Okay, make sure that those things took. Let's go back to our desktop. Uh, this one, that one, and do reset. Okay. See now it's not all messed up, so we can choose. Um, we can choose these levels and have it look as it was intended, not all messed up like it is when it's in the um, the normal non widescreen wide screen format. Okay, we'll just check out Mandalore Plaza. Let's see here. All right, these guys are pretty cool. This is the bomb squad. Shout out to Sith Kenny, who's the um, mod master for the battle or for the Clone Wars revised. And I asked if I could do a port to Xbox uh, some time back, and this mod was released, I believe, last year or maybe the year before. But um, anyways, I really, really liked the Clone Wars Revised and was really glad that uh, Sith Kenny allowed me to port this over to um, Xbox. It's not a straight port. This is actually, it's, it's basically a redo. It's a redo of the game using the uh, units and the, the levels and the music and the sound effects that the Clone Wars revised team uh, used in their mod. Okay, well, I'm doing terrible there, but I've shown basically what I wanted to show is, and it's basically that's how to use 
uh, Zemu to play Battlefront 2 mods. And uh, I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave links to the relevant information um, below in the description. And I will sign off for now. Thanks.